you've got a nice shiny new Wacom or Wacom tablet and you're wanting to do some cool stuff with it here in Photoshop. Well, one of the things that I love to do, especially when I'm doing my line art, is to set it up where it will do different line widths based on how hard that I press. And this comes in handy and makes it um, look more organic in my opinion. So here you can see where I'm doing some light pressure, some heavier pressure, and it's really varying that line width there. Now, um, one thing, you know, you can use it straight out of the box just like this. After you've downloaded the drivers, you can do that, or you can actually customize it more to yourself. You're going to go to System Preferences on a Mac and then select the Wacom or Wacom tablet. You can set it up to be left-handed or right-handed. I'm right-handed, so that's where I have it there. Um, mine has four different buttons on the um, tablet. It's an older one. And so um, I'm actually going to show you how to change some stuff. So you can change those buttons. You can also change um, the buttons that the pen has, the tip feel. Um, I'll show you what happens whenever you change it to firm. When you change it to firm, it's almost too easy to get gradation, at least in my opinion. Um, very slight changes in pin pressure show up in the uh, pressure dynamics, which can be a great thing, but to me, setting it to firm is just too, too hard to do. Um, I can't keep my pin still enough. So I'm going to show you what happens when you change it all the way to soft. Grab a new letter. Le 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 grab a new layer. <laughs> when you change it to soft, there's really no variation at all, um, even though my pen is set up the same exact way. For me, I like it right in the middle where it defaults. Um, you can adjust this and tweak it, you know, to how you prefer. And then under advanced, there's some other things that you can change. Um, I've never changed those, so I don't want to really mess around with it. So here it is back at the medium spot. Um, you can kind of see the different uh, line widths that I'm able to produce here. So if you go back to System Preferences into Wacom or Wacom, um, there's different touch options. You can change the pointer speed. Um, double tap for time, scrolling speed, pointer acceleration. I've left all that alone. Um, you can change what happens when you use one or two fingers. Um, there's little guides on what it'll do. You can change what happens whenever you use three or four fingers, cut things off and on. And then there's changes to the pop-up menus as well. I've left all of that as is straight out of the box. And so that's how you would make changes um, to the actual preferences of your tablet. Now within Photoshop you can make lots of changes on what pin pressure will do, but that'll be another video down the road. I just wanted a simple um, quick video to show you guys in case you weren't aware that you could change those defaults on your tablet. Thank you so much for watching. You can click to check out another video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the newest videos that come out. Please remember to comment below on what you'd like to see next. I want to hear from you because you guys help guide me on where to go.